Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sarona. And I'm Brittany Jeffers. Just a few hours before the young boy was found, deputies say that his parents had reported him missing. And when authorities searched their home, his body was discovered. This is all unfolding right now at a home off Rosegate Drive and Lestergate Drive. KPRC 2's Kathy Hernandez joining us now live from there with the very latest on this investigation. Kathy. Good morning to you. Absolutely horrific. Investigators tell us they found that boy's body in the washing machine of the garage in that home there. It's unclear if it was an accident and if he got in by himself or if he was killed. A tragedy in spring. Investigators say they found seven year old Troy Kohler dead inside the washing machine of his home on Rosegate and Lester Gate. Police say his mom and dad discovered he was missing in the middle of the night. The child had possibly been missing since 4 a.m. They called in at about 5.20 for police after they couldn't find him. Investigators say deputy constables arrived, searched the neighborhood, and then the home. It was early in the morning. There was no indication that the door had been open or window open. And after searching the neighborhood, they were unable to find the child. They say that's when they made the horrific discovery. At that point, they found a deceased seven-year-old child in the washing machine in the garage. A lot of questions remain. Investigators are not saying if they believe it was an accident, someone killed him, or if there were signs of foul play. It's sad and it's heartbreaking to a kid. Come on, I got, I got kids in my house. I seen the little boy running through here, but not, not paying any attention to it or anything like that. But it's, it's a shocker. Definitely shocking for investigators and neighbors. They tell us that Troy was previously in foster care and adopted back in 2019. They're now interviewing both his mother and father. Of course, they are also tell us that an autopsy will determine how the boy died. Reporting live in spring, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. Kathy, thank you.